Hello and welcome back. Today is a house reset day. It's a bit of life admin. It's a chit chat to let you know why I was missing for a week. A bit of that in a minute. And uh, just generally end of month, clean up the house, finish doing a few things that I had sort of on my list. Let's get going. <music> So what's been happening? Well, it's been quite a week. I've been busy. The, the main thing is that uh, I've been working for a couple of friends who, because of our vaccine requirements here in Victoria, have found themselves short-staffed. And so I'm happy to step in until that can get sorted out. And of course, we have come out of lockdown. We are now officially out. We don't have to wear masks outside anymore. We do have to still wear them on the um, inside shopping centres, and I would anyway, etc. There are still limits on things. There are still restrictions, but overall, we can just start living normally again. However, we have very high numbers, but we have reached a certain vaccine target that was the stated time that we would be allowed to do this. We've achieved that, so the government really has no other option than to let us out. And quite frankly, um, I think a lot of us will still be very careful. I will still be very careful. But it is nice to know that if I need something from a store, I can pick a less than busy time, hopefully, and go in and, and actually see it to buy it. If it's too much fuss, I won't do it. Remember, I'm the reduce the friction person, so that uh, if, there's, if there are too many steps in the way of doing something, frankly, I probably won't do it. Um, not that I'm lazy, just that I think, oh, is it really worth that sort of effort? And usually the answer is no, I can wait. And so, yeah, that's, uh, that's the situation we are in here in Victoria now. Having said that, what else has been going on? Oh, we had a huge storm. <laughs> Not massive flooding or anything like that, but just lots of trees down all over the city. And yesterday was um, a power outage for the, a lot of areas for the whole day. But the storm started at night, and in the teeth of this, my son popped out to put some, um, take, take the rubbish out. And his little cat, unbeknownst to him actually, his little cat slipped out at the same time. You know, the little cat that I, my little grand kitty that I look after here sometimes. Uh, yes, well, he slipped out into the storm. And my son didn't even know, you know, because he'd just gone in and out so quickly. Come the morning, they realised that he wasn't in the house and he was outside and somewhere and they didn't know where. And he had been through this howling gale. We had winds up to 100 kilometres an hour. And I don't know what that is, but I'd say about 60 miles per hour. And it wasn't all over the city at that, but there was so much damage. And the trees were just down, so we replaced, for five minutes anyway, we replaced the sound of ambulances with the sound of chainsaws and wood chippers. Uh, yeah, it was an exciting day yesterday. So I went over to my son's house anyway because um, his wife had to go to work. He was at work. And I was sort of um, grandmother of cat on duty. So I walked the streets and called for him and whistled for him and made sort of kitty noises for him, you know, the way we do for cats and kids and all of that stuff. And no, he was nowhere to be found. So, um, and everyone came home and, oh, right on dinner time, there's this flash as he sprinted across the garden and he flew up and over the fence and back inside. Um, he's an inside kitty, by the way, that's the thing. He's not an outside cat. He's, um, he's a, <laughs> this cat's used up a few of his lives, shall we say. So that was yesterday. What else has happened? Oh yes, my camera broke. So that's the other thing, isn't it? Oh God, yes, there's always something, isn't there? Anyway, so that's all fixed. I've got coffee and I'm going to start cleaning. And it's not that my house is untidy. It's not, you know, I'm pretty organized. I've got a load of washing on now. There's another one to go in after that. I was going, I will strip my bed and switch over to my summer do now and do all of that. It's going to be a nice weekend to catch up on things before I'm back and super busy again next week. Okay, let's get into this and get it done. I'm going to start by doing all the basic dusting, cleaning, working down, vacuuming, steaming the, I've got to steam the sofas, uh, vacuum the sofas, clean them, steam the sofa and the ottoman, switch out my bed, all of those sorts of things. Come along, I'm going to make a list and I'm going to get it done.
That's my cleaning done for the week and the month and new month starting tomorrow and it's amazing. Can't believe it. So yeah, I hope that you got some motivation, bit of inspiration out of that, something to follow along or if you just sat back and listened to the music and had the pleasure of somebody else cleaning while you enjoyed a cup of tea or coffee. Whatever, I hope that there was something there for you. Join me for more of these. Uh, give me a thumbs up, helps my little channel. And I hope that wherever you are, that you are safe and well and having a lovely day. And I will see you soon. Bye. Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Forever, forever, forever. I watch you as you sleep. You don't know I'm looking. With you, everything's complete. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on just to wake you up. When I Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? Forever Forever This moment, can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm just loving.